let's go over the five things that we can do to get good normal sleep. So the first thing that we can do is keep it regular. We are so much more apt to be waking up at the same time every day than we are to fall asleep at the same time every day. So if you're trying to catch up on sleep, which is extremely hard to do, and we'll get into that in another video, we wanna make sure that we're going to bed early. Very rarely are we able to sleep in later and end up getting back some of that sleep, okay? Number two is make sure that it's dark, all right? So keeping your room dark is extremely important and making sure that we stay away from blue lights such as phones or TV screens prior to bed can help us actually fall asleep. We're designed to fall asleep when the sun is setting. So by having these lights popping up and in our face, they are screwing our body up, making us not be aware of when the sun is actually going down and it can impact how well we sleep. Number three is keep it cool. Sleep scientists say keep it around 68 degrees and that's a better temperature for you to fall asleep in. So keep that in mind if you're someone that puts on pajamas, hot comforter, blanket, all that stuff. We're actually supposed to go to sleep when it's cooler. You can uh, put that stuff on later if you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night, all right, but keep it cooler. Number four is be careful about what we're consuming, right? Those sedatives and the caffeines, right? Caffeine will impact your ability to fall asleep later in the day because it affects sleep pressure, all right? And then the sedatives actually, such as the alcohol, they will sedate us into what we feel like is sleep, but in fact, it's changing the way that our brain is processing while we're sleeping. It's very valuable to have non-REM and REM sleep brain waves take place. They actually are shown to prevent the chance of Alzheimer's, right? So Alzheimer's patients or brain dementia in Alzheimer's patients have lack of REM sleep. So we wanna make sure that we're getting that good REM sleep as much as we can over the course of our life. And during sedative use, we don't end up uh, getting that good nutrient-rich REM brainwave patterns that take place. So try as best you can to stay away from the caffeine that will affect our ability to fall asleep and the sedatives such as the alcohol that we feel helps us go to sleep. But in fact, it changes the way that our brain works while we sleep. Okay, number five, the last one is if you are in bed and you can't fall asleep, you got to get up and go do something. I know it's tough because we're so used and trained to getting into bed rolling around, doing something, grabbing our phone, looking at it, oh, how come I can't fall asleep, and then trying again. Best thing you can do is get up, get out into the living room, walk around a little bit, maybe get on the couch, get a book or something that you can read, try to stay away from the bright lights of the phones, right? Because we went over that, that the brighter the light will cause us to wake up more, right? Get out there and then get back into bed. We want to get used to training our body that the bed is just for sleeping. It's not for watching TV. It is not for relaxing and just hanging out. And the bed is actually the location that we need to get used to falling asleep in. So we've got to start using the bed as that cue that it is time for sleep. I, for one, am someone that I like watching TV in bed. We've got a TV in our room and we really try our best to try to limit the TV watching so that when we get into bed, that that is actually sleep time. Okay, so let's go over these five real quick again. We've got keep it regular, keep it dark, keep it cool, stay away from stimulants and sedatives, and get out of bed if you find yourself tossing and turning and not being able to go to sleep when you're actually in bed. Get out, move around, and then get back into bed, okay? Hope this helps, and we'll see you soon.